Hi Aquarius, thank you so much again for joining me, liking, sharing, subscribing and of course thank you so much for your viewership. If you'd like a private reading, my email is listed below this video. Ten of Cups, very nice. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, Three of Swords, the Death card, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, the Four of Chalices. The Seven of Wands. Okay, so first from the top left we have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is a beautiful card of happiness, bliss, happy family homes, relationships, looking to the rainbow in the sky, feeling optimistic, feeling very um, loved, feeling very affection, you know, affectionate, feeling very in tune. Um, this is a beautiful card. <clears throat> Especially for those in relationships, I feel as though a lot of you will be coming together with your families, coming together with children, whether you have your own children or coming together to, with stepchildren, spending time with children, maybe your grandchildren have come back from overseas or from university. This is sort of like a reunion, so to speak, with the Ten of Cups. This is something um, your child could have achieved as well. So whether you've recently bought a family home, whether your child has graduated from uh, college or university or from middle school, elementary school, uh, from high school or anything like that, any sort of, um, you know, if they've won a merit award, this is celebration with the family. So this is very good. For some of you, I feel like there could be um, a marriage proposal or the promise of a happily ever after. So this may be something you might be talking about with a partner or a significant other that's in your life right now. What's interesting is that you do have the three of swords and you have these two sort of a water sign and a fire sign that may be um, pursuing you. And if this is the case, Aquarius, I definitely feel like one of them is um, bound to be your happy, happily ever after, which is beautiful to see. I definitely feel for some of you that they're currently in your life and they will be for a very, very long time to come. Uh, for some of you, you will be meeting someone that already has children or is wanting this stability, wanting this, you know, wanting marriage, um, is very family oriented as well here with the Ten of Cups. Um, but this is optimism as well. So if it doesn't involve, um, you know, if it doesn't resonate with you, the things I have just mentioned, this could just be newfound optimism here with the Ten of Cups. This could be celebration, as I said, family reunions, getting together with friends, um, perhaps getting a new neighbor. This is this is happiness around the home environment. So maybe you're redecorating. It could be something like this as well with the Ten of Cups. But it's emotional. So it's obviously something that you're passionate about. This could also be working with children for some of you. You may be receiving an offer to work with children, um, write children's books, uh, look after children, uh, babysit, be a live-in nanny, be a pediatrician, be a child psychologist, a child speech therapist, things like this as well. Now, if this is work-related, there could be a family business that's um, coming in around you. So whether you're employed in a family business, you're looking to find a job at a family business, or working from home as well, this is certainly possible and fulfilling, I see. Very, very fulfilling. <clears throat> now, the next card over, you have the Knight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups is someone offering you their cup in collaboration. They're offering you their cup of love. They're offering you uh, devotion. They're offering you their time. This is someone that's coming in, possibly under a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, that's coming in and wanting to make you an offer. Now, if this is in a relationship, if this is in a, a, a love relationship sector, I feel as though um, a lot of you Aquarians will have potential suitors and there could potentially be a lot of people um, very interested in you if you're single and you're turning your attention to a lot of other people um, and you may even be conflicted with choices or who to choose because you do have the Three of Swords which, which can often denote a third party situation. The Knight of Cups can also indicate uh, this is someone that's emotionally invested, that's wanting to approach you, or someone that's willing to invest their time, their energy, um, themselves, um, to, to, to you and to um, 
uh, making and having a relationship with you, initiating a relationship with you. Now, if this is work related, this is um, doesn't have to be a water sign, but this is definitely someone coming in with an offer. Now, <clears throat> this offer could be in in several areas of your life, but you also have monetary gains, assets, family here with the ten. You've got the death card, so this could be a Scorpio that's coming in quite strong, making you an offer. You have the Knight of Wands. This could be a strong fire sign as well. You know you've got wands and chalices here. So this is there's strong water and fire around you. Strong, so people that have strong fire and water elements in their chart that are around you. But again, this is someone that's wanting to make you an offer. Maybe this is someone that has been, you know, single for quite some time or this is someone that hasn't been very productive because of this barren land we see in here and they're coming into something more arduous they're coming into something more challenging and more you know they're willing to invest they're willing to work harder so if this isn't a business uh or a creative um facet then i really feel with the knight of cups this could indicate that there's someone wanting to make you an offer someone that wants to work for you or perhaps you're wanting to make this offer it could be, you know, one of those things with the Knight of Cups. But I really feel it's, it has a lot to do with relationships for you. But there's definitely a fire sign here, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, the Knight of Wands. This is someone very playful, youthful, adventurous. This person could be very enticing. This person is uh, perhaps very, very attractive, very sexy, has sex appeal, has charisma, has charm. And what's interesting is that they're coming into... Um, they're coming, sort of coming into each other. They could be friends. They could know each other. This is people that could be around you at the workplace. People that are, um, are your friends, mutual friends, or get introdu introduced to you, Aquarius. I feel like there's um, competition, perhaps, because they're sort of facing each other. It's sort of like a face-off. Um, it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be you're meeting friends and there's jealousy towards friends. Definitely in the hot seat. Um, people are wanting to question you, wanting to pursue you perhaps vying and competing for your attention and they're fighting over you I you're, you're in demand Aquarius that's for sure the knight of wands um, is also a message of action and movement so there could be movement physical movement movement within a relationship um, relocation perhaps um, I really feel like you're going to be visiting a lot of places though so whether it's family places funerals here with the death card um, grave sites markets you know family homes, neighbors' homes. I feel like there's a lot of movement. It's going to be a jam-packed month for you. There's a lot happening. There's a lot of people coming, wanting to see you, wanting to meet up with you, as I said. Um, especially if this is in a work situation, there, there could be a, a commute of some kind um, to settle a deal or to discuss a larger deal uh, with the Knight of Wands, definitely. Now, moving on, you have the Four of Chalices. Now, the Four of Chalices doesn't carry the traditional meaning in the um, in the Rider Waite deck here. The Four of Chalices in this D Egyptian deck um, often denotes. I mean, as we see here, this is this um, this bird here is indicative of um, the priestess Nekbet, which was known in ancient Egypt mythology as the two ladies of Upper and Lower Egypt. Now, there's duality about her. And in this particular card, it indicates that you may experience not something unpleasant, but you may experience something that may be shocking, that may be detrimental, that may uh, delay you, that may, you know, confuse you. Now, especially if you've been dealing with people, which I feel it's more to do around relationships, I feel as though with the Four of Chalices, you're going to see a different side to someone or someone is going to open up and show you what they're really about. It could be because of this competition and people competing for you. Um, you know, you've got the Three of Swords here as well, but this could also be you. You might surprise yourself with how you might react. This is sort of an obstacle of some kind of confusion. You know, it, it, it can indicate, you know, a stroke of bad luck even. So things not happening as you want them to. Which is a stark um, contradiction to the Ten of Cups, of course, but... I feel as though it's either someone at work, someone you're in a relationship with, um, or a family member even, um, or a project that's happening around you. But, and this could perhaps be the catalyst for the Three of Swords, what makes you feel confused and hurt and burdened, um, conflicted even. So something is going to happen. It could be minor, it could be major, only you will tell. And of course, um, everyone will have a different interpretation and a different outcome. 
but the four of chalices is sort of, um, you know, maybe you need to take heed, maybe you need to take caution what's happening around you, especially if there is people um, that are very interested in you. You will see perhaps an uglier side to someone. You know, I hate to be blunt about these things, but that's life. People don't always turn out how we want them to. They don't always have the, the greatest intentions or maybe you will be putting an end to something because you have the death card. This is a major ending here. It could be, a, could be the ending of a relationship because you see this person can't give you your happily ever after. Or it could be the ending of a romance where you find out, you know, maybe they're, um, maybe they're uh, cheating or maybe they're interested in someone else. You could also find out that maybe someone has a darker side to them. Maybe someone is undergoing depression because of a death they've had in their past or a near-death experience or their view on death. With the Four of Chalices here. <clears throat> now, moving on, you have the Seven of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands is allegiance. It's... Uh, dependence it doesn't carry the same meaning as the other deck here in this Egyptian deck it's allegiance it's asking for help it's feeling somewhat disoriented that you need to seek guidance you need to seek help and there's codependence here so I feel there's a strong support network around you with whatever is happening and whether that be in your family home um, your neighborhood, your community, there's there's support here. So you may be, you know, you may be working for the council, working, you know, applying for a role within the community. You may be doing something that you need the backing of your family or the backing of your friends or your partners or significant others. I feel like this is, you're going to seek help and I feel help will be offered to you. And whether it's because you find out this other side to someone and you seek help from a friend or a family member, a mother, a father, or a sibling, or perhaps even with the Seven of Wands, you may <clears throat> um, need to co-depend on someone here. It could be with work. It could be in a work project. You know, keep this in mind. It can be in any facet of your life. But with the Seven of Wands, this indicates that you'll be turning to someone for your help, for help. And for the most part, I feel like you will be receiving this help. Or someone will be helping you, or you will be helping them. And there's allegiance, there's commitment. Now, you do have the Three of Swords also. The Three of Swords is conflict, it's an anxiety, it's pain. Some of you are, you know, maybe you've had loss around you, the loss of a job, the loss of a person here with the death card, and there's a lot of pain in your heart, pain in your mind, pain in your thoughts. You know, it's a bit of a struggle here. For some of you, there's a third-party situation. For others of you, there's pain. Uh, perhaps there's grievances. There's pains or dysfunction within a family situation. But I feel as though it, 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 will, come, it will come to pass, and you will get through it. Um... For some, I feel like there's an ending of a relationship for some Aquarians. And there's a lot of pain due to a third-party um, third party situation, whether it's you that instigates this third-party situation and perhaps you're interested in someone else or you're conflicted over the, um, over the sincerity of your own feelings towards someone because there's another person that has come in, has come in very strong here for you. Uh, the Three of Swords is... You know, it's it's just pain. There's pain and burden. Could be because of what someone says, but this is also you could be causing your own pain. I mean, you rule the swords. Maybe you're causing self, you know, you have self-destructive behavior around yourself. And that's why you need to seek help. But there is a support system behind you. There's friends. I don't feel you'll be on your own here. But there's there's you will be conflicted over something. Uh, you also have the death card here. Now, the death card most potently can symbolize death. This is loss, loss of a job, loss of a person, um, loss of a, um, a relationship, you know, an old way of life dying. Perhaps this is a strong Scorpio that's coming in for some of you, whether this is the person that causes you heartache or pain or whether this is the person that's vying for your attention or love. You did have the Knight of Cups, which can be this Scorpio too. Uh, this person is... <clears throat> Perhaps you will see a darker side of this person, or perhaps for others of you, this person is wanting something long-term and wants to make you this offer. 
and perhaps he's ready to invest. The death can also, you know, I think of skeletons in the closet. I think of the past. I think of things haunting you from the past. This could be an ex that perhaps has caused you pain that may come back. May come back into your life. And maybe this is why you'll be conflicted because they've caused so much pain and hurt. The death is, maybe your past is coming back to haunt you in some way. In a relationship aspect or in a workplace. Perhaps something you've done <clears throat> with a past company. For some of you it could be that you might start working for a funeral home. Or major transformation or change here with the death card. Or something is coming to an end in a really, really big way. And it could very well be a relationship. It could even be a job. This is transformation. This is invigoration. With death comes life. So there's new ideas. There's productivity here. For some of you, the loss of a job or a person will bring your family, your community, your friends circle even closer. Could be an inheritance. You do have a lot of money here with the Ten of Pentacles. It could be an inheritance of some kind or monetary gains of some kind. And this is why you need to do the support, you know, this network, this allegiance. Now, the Ten of Pentacles talks about funds, it's money, it's income, it's assets, it's also family. There's a lot of children and family in these cards here, so I feel that will be prominent for you. Again, you'll be visiting a lot of places. Markets, shopping centers, um, travels even, buying things. I feel you'll be spending a lot of money or earning a lot of money. This is income. This is income that's circulating around you. So if you're working for a company where it's commission-based or you need to sign on clients, you know, things in real estate with properties, commercial, residential, I feel as though a lot of clients are coming to, to you, but a lot of family-oriented clients. So people that have children, people that have young families, people that are within that suburban community, um, are circulating around you here, uh, and monetary gains, excellent monetary gains, working from home even, working for a family business, this is also possible around this time. Ten of Pentacles can also be <clears throat> an, a, a, a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo that's around you, that's very affluent, very established, earns a lot of money. I feel for the most part there's assets around you or people. Pentacles are anything physical. It could be anything from money, checks, to people around you, to homes around you, to cars. But if you can, you know, there's a lot of hustle and bustle here. So I feel like there's a lot of events that you'll be invited to, that you'll be attending. This could even be in the form of dates. I feel it's lunch dates type thing. But this is also monetary gains from new beginnings or, or, or losses of some kind. This could also be one of these people here. This could be the Scorpio, most prominently how I feel is coming through. And this person is um, either has their own business, they could be an entrepreneur that's coming in around you. Or this could be um, spending time with family, as I said. Okay, so there's purity. Priestess of purity is here. So this is about ridding yourself of things that no longer serve you, putting an end to things that no longer serve you, being pure. This is cleansing yourself, whether this is a spiritual healing, whether this is you physically cleaning out your home, um, saging your home with the Priestess of Purity, October 28th to November 24th. I mean, this does resonate with the dates of a Scorp under the sign of Scorpio. So I feel for a lot of you, there's a, Scor a strong, potent Scorpio that's coming in around you. But this person has pure intentions, I feel. You may see another side to them, but I think for the most part they're pure. Or perhaps this is you being pure and ridding yourself of, you know, toxic relationships, toxic family members, toxic situations here. This is period. This is coming clean. This is being vulnerable. This is opening up. And again, it could have something to do with the Four of Chalices here, opening up yourself completely um, and being surprised by this uh, another side that you may see to yourself or to someone else. But all in all, Aquarius, I hope this has been insightful. 